Welcome back to Warsaw Fan TV and Warsaw have got their man, their number one target. Yes. Danny Johnson. He wasn't our number one target, was he? No, but he was one of the targets. I think Norwood, Wooten, Hudlin, Grigg. He certainly weren't top of the list, was he? No, but at least we got him. At least we got a, a striker in with yeah, some yeah. experience, somebody who can score goals. First game, he kicked off with uh, a goal. the game against Solihull Moors and opened his scoring account for Warsaw. So that's uh, positive for a striker to get goals straight away. Andy Williams, he's uh, he's done well, hasn't he, straight into it. Yeah. Well. So uh, he's got three goals now in pre-season. So that's positive. What we're also going to cover today is the Q&A. Um, we will be doing a squad review but that's going to be on a live stream with some guests on Wednesday, so we're looking forward to that. So, Danny Johnson, um, DJ. Yeah. We'd already got DJ Taylor. That's kind of messed up our, uh, our nicknames, isn't he? A little bit. So, uh, what should we call Douglas James Taylor now? Should we just call him DJ Taylor? And then DJ for Danny Johnson? What do you think, Stephen? Look. DJ. DJ. DJ for Danny Johnson and DJ Taylor for our youngster from Stoke. He was uh, looking for his first goal. <laughs> right then, on to the Q&A. We start with question for Stephen first. Um, yeah. Who will be in the top seven? So uh, let's give me three who you think are nailed on top seven finishers. So um... three of the top seven. Come on. Are we going to... We're going to put a bet on this, so make sure you don't make a good choice. Well, I feel a definite should be Warsaw. Warsaw? Top three? I think... We'll cover that a bit a, on Wednesday, I, I think. I think a biased opinion, Warsaw should finish top three. But an unbiased opinion, Warsaw should finish in the playoffs. <laughs> We've been well, down here too long, we need to go up. We, do, we definitely it's need... through Wembley, we We definitely need it. We, we need to go. And... Um, so is that your first of the nailed on th three? That is the first of the nailed on three. The um, top seven finish. The other two are going to be um, Gillingham and Wimbledon. Gillingham? That's a bit of a wild one. Yeah. They've brought 11 players in. Um, obviously, coming down from League One, there's some quality in there. Mm -hmm. um, can they bounce right back? I feel Wimbledon and Gillingham. And Both Wimbledon? Just, just go bounce back. No, Wimbledon, like. that is the one I think is a, a very good one. Wimbledon have brought in Kyle Hudlin and Josh Davison. Um, I thought Josh Davison had signed for Swindon, but he was just there on loan. Kyle Hudlin, he's the tallest player in the football league, six foot nine, and Josh Davison, he's uh, not far off. He's about six four, six five, I think. Mm -hmm. So he, I wonder how Wimbledon are going to play. <laughs> I think long ball up, plenty of balls into side. the box, yeah. and uh, we know how that can work. We know how that can work. Yeah. So uh, that's your three. Let's have a three. Who's my three nailed on? Um, I think Stephen's right with Wimbledon. I think they're going to be top seven. Yeah. Stockport. Where's... Stockport, up from the National League. Kyle Wooten, he was a very fancied striker last year. And we were hoping to get him. Connor Lemon-Evans, we thought he was coming to Warsaw. He's gone there too. Fraser Horsfall, who was at uh, Northampton and uh, sorting out their defence, gives Stockport a very good chance of uh, getting up there for glory. Third team for the top three, or for the definitely for the top seven, Tranmere. Um, they keep buzzing around there. You'd expect them to be sort of pushing top three, top definitely top seven, I would think. No. You don't think so? No. Um, who do you think is going to struggle? Stockport. Stockport? You yeah. think they're going to struggle? I think they like came up and they're like, oh yeah, we can do this. Was like, no. You think they're going to struggle? Yeah, I think Stockport will struggle massively. I've got um, a f I've got a few down there. Um, Colchester have been very quiet. Um, I think that could be a struggle for them. Um, some have Hartlepool. Or Harrogate, rather, to go down. I don't um, know. 
Barrow. Barrow yeah. and Stevenage again. The ones are struggling. Yeah, and Grimsby. I reckon Grimsby will go down. Grimsby, I think probably mid table. I, 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 yeah, I, I think they'll be solid. I think. I think they'll be solid. Um, Crawley with Dom Telford. Is he gonna send them up to the heights? Do you think? Who is that guy? <laughs> who is who that, that guy? guy? He scored twenty four for Newport last season. Who, who is that guy? <laughs> you don't know. Bradford. A lot of tipping Bradford to top the league. But um, I can't see it myself. Uh, Mark Hughes, obviously, manager with great reputation. Al sadibi has gone there. If they're relying on him, um, I, don't think I don't think they'll be winning too Best much. Look, and uh, Mansfield, again, Mansfield are going to have a good season, I think. Yeah. If they can not be playing um, Danny Johnson and happy to send him out on loan to a competitor, um, you'd think... They'd got it all together. So uh, they're perhaps going to be up there as well. Right then, we will cover off some more of them on Wednesday. But now, next question. Stephen, prediction. Where will Walsall finish this season? You've sort of touched on that already. Yeah. Well, I feel like... Um, I know it's hard. Because I feel like we have the capability to finish in the top three. But then... You never know, we might pick up like an injury or Connor Wilkinson, maybe. Because if we you think back, yeah. after the six after the six months, yeah, Connor Wilkinson's gonna come back, that'll be great. Then we'll lose Danny Johnson. And if you think banging goals in for us, like we'll be top half, he goes, Connor comes back but he's injured. Yeah. And then and then he has to I like, think start it's, from scratch. It's an interesting like, one. Yeah, there's uh, one then. So there's... see the top it, I, if everything goes well Top half, maybe top five, but if it's looking a bit dodgy, I'd say probably sixth. Yeah, I'd I think, take a solid sixth. I, I think would. quite a few people say the same. I think with um, a good season would be top half, yeah. a great season would be top seven, and top three would be uh, out of this world. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we need to be out of this world. We brought like thirteen players in. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, Danny Johnson. That's a question we'll have on for the managers forum on Monday. Question for Mike Flynn, Danny Johnson. Have we got an option to buy? What's the story with January? There is he just here short term, or is there a possibility that he's going to be here for the season and sign up? Yeah. So, uh, so that's one. And one of many questions we're popping over to uh, pose some questions to Mike Flynn on Monday. Yeah. Um, right then, so next question. This is one for me from Mr. Warsaw. Uh, what made you or inspired you to become a Warsaw YouTuber? Well, my mate Dazzling Dave, who um, does the Always Wolves channel, um, he's uh, been my best buddy since uh, school days, and uh, he was sort of encouraging me to start a YouTube channel. I did that and uh, was doing it about several different things. Mm -hmm. um, including sort of a little bit of sort of financial advice and general kind of stuff, money saving tips. Um, yeah. And he suggested if I rebrand to Warsaw Fan TV um, and just focus on that, things will get much more popular. And uh, and it has. So uh, thanks very much to Dazzling Dave. Thank you for that one. Um, Daniel has the next question. What's your favourite Warsaw shirt? This is one for you as well, Stephen. Okay. The home kit again, twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen home kit. We show a picture. Yeah. Um, for me, I think it's the ninety eight ninety nine top when we got promoted. I've got a picture of that one. I do love this top. Yeah. But um, as if by magic, this is my favourite. Yeah, this one. <laughs> From uh, the early 80s, 80, 81, 82. And of course, we got the, uh, the stuff on the back, which you've seen when I'm uh, doing videos from my office. This was the time of Brian Caswell, Kenny Mower, Colin Brazier, Peter Hart, Ron Green, David Priest, Craig All Shakespeare. Right. Calm down. All of that. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Loved it. Yeah, David Priest, Gary Childs, two big favourites of mine. Um, Next question from Daniel, favourite player of all time. I've just covered that, really. Um, David Priest in the 80s and Mark Reese. The Mark Reese, the su superb speed he had. 
Um, in the 90s, Pedro Matias would, uh, was really sort of my favourite, really. I thought he was excellent. Um, Tom Bradshaw in the noughties, perhaps. Um, of course, George, Georgie Leto as well. Yeah. Vinny Samways, when we come into the 2000s, he was quality. Oz Toomer, yeah. the little Turkish, Turkish Messi. Messi. Yeah. So, uh, so he was uh, he was great. And then in more recent times, Kinsella. Uh, some people sort of, uh, some uh, a guy mentioned to me at the uh, the Telford game, Kinsella's one player of the season two years running without scoring or having an assist. Yeah. Um. It just uh, Kinsella. Nice. His his dedication and his passion, passion is what people vote for and what people love. But it just proves how much Walsall have been struggling. We haven't <laughs> yeah. had anybody like Ostuma who really sort of sets the world alight. Yeah. Stand, and um, majorly stands out. Majorly stands yeah, out. Yeah. Exactly. So that's where Kinsella is on there. Okay. Stephen's favourite player. Of all time. Of your short time. Of being my, such a young lad. Yeah, short time, but of all time. It's got to be, for me, Adam Chambers. Adam Chambers. Adam Chambers, absolute goat. He's another player, similar player. to Kinsella, who uh, didn't yeah. get many goals and assists, but sort of his passion and his commitment to the cause was is uh, well credible. Well credible. And in recent times, favourite mm-hmm. player, Stephen? Um, it's tough, I reckon. It's a mixture between um, Hayden White and uh, Liam Roberts. Hayden White. Because I Roberts. absolutely love Liam Roberts. He's a class keeper, and now he's gone to Middlesbrough, so wish him all the best. Well, that's yeah. it. We wish him well, don't we? We yeah. wish him well. And Hayden White's just amazing. Very Hayden great White. So. We play. Well, we've had the the guy I was chatting to. Forgive me, I forgot his name. Sorry, but uh, the guy I was chatting to at Telford, he was sort of not very complimentary. Of Hayden White, which is deluded. Job. It's a good job you weren't there. It's deluded. Um, he has good and bad games. Um, yeah, like somewhere. every player, though. Like, yeah. If you look at um, Man United, Harry Maguire, last season, bloody heck. <laughs> I mean, you'd rather play 10 men than play Harry Maguire last season, but you yeah, know, yeah. everyone has a dodgy season, everyone has a dodgy game. Maybe a bounce back and be a world class centre back again. So. Yeah, and who do you think is going to be your favourite player this season? Um, Hayden White again. Or um, we've got a few more yeah, vying well, for it, haven't we? It's um, what I think Hayden White's always going to be a standout for me because he's Hayden White class. But with the new um, new blood in the squad, it's going to be a mixture between Riley and uh, Hutchinson, I'd say. Yeah, I think Isaac Hutchinson is obviously going to be great for us. Ronan Mayer, yeah, obviously we've got a bit Ronan of a connection Ronan there. Gets the like all up the top. That was automatically there. Yeah, it was it? automatically there. Yeah, we're really proud of Ronan, um, yeah, yeah. of Ram. He's he's coming to the fore, and uh, so we do certainly wish him all the best. Yeah. And we've got a special question from Mike Flynn about Ronan Mayer, which uh, we'll pop at the uh, managers forum. Mm-hmm. Right then, next question from Dave. The best advice I ever received was never fry bacon without a shirt on. I did it once and it wasn't pleasant. What's the best advice you've ever had? Wear a condom. <laughs> Wear a condom. <laughs> that is good, but not all day, every day. That would be sort of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, that's a strange thing to come out with. <laughs> best advice I've ever had. Um, my uncle Brian, that um, we went to see before the Telford match, um. The best time to negotiate a salary for a job is before you start. So when you're trying to get a rise, um, you, I mean, you're going to struggle when you're already employed. So negotiate, negotiating your money before you start is good advice. And that sort of uh, stood with me. Um, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Is, uh, is one I heard a comic say once, which I thought was good. Um... I've had lots of good advice. I've had lots of good advice over the years. And wow. um, I think eventually people get what they deserve is something I go by. And that's good or bad. If people yeah. do bad stuff, eventually it's going to fall apart for them. And equally, if people work hard and do good things, eventually things will work out for them. So um, that's um, 
I hope that's true. And um, I've, I've found that to be true in a lot of my experiences. Right then, best book I've read recently, particularly warsaw based book. This is not another plug for one of my books. This is Warsaw's Greatest, Tony Richards. This story, if you haven't read this yet... What are you doing? Read it. It's, um, it's, it's very good. The Saddler's Glory Years, and it draws a lot of parallels with where, where Warsaw are right now. Before Tony Richards got started, or just when he's starting, Warsaw were on perhaps their lowest ebb. And I suppose in some respects, Warsaw are right there now. Yeah. Um, and it's it's Maybe. a great, it's a great, it's quite a comfortable read. It's not heavy going at all. And um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you don't know anything about Tony Richards, you should read this book. Nice one. We were going to get the author on, we get him on at some point. That's the lad, his, his lad, Gary. So we'll see. Obviously, you can buy my books as well, but I'm not going to plug those. Not even the gambling, now the score book. I'm not even going to mention that. Yeah, but make sure to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and before we go, let's just look over the table and who is going to spring a surprise and who's going to be a disappointment. For me, I'm going for Swindon. Swindon just missed out. Last time, I think they're a lot weaker this yeah. season. Um, Lost a lot of key players, haven't they? Josh Davison, he's obviously moved on to Wimbledon. Louis Barry, he'd done well for him. But the real playmaker, Jack Payne, he's gone to Charlton. And, uh, of course, the manager change as well. I think Swindon could be in for trouble. Um, they took Tyree Shade Seems and uh, Reese Devine. No um I hope they're not relying on them for for goals and assists. Well, I hope so, because then we might finish our <laughs> open the table. So, so uh, hopefully we're going to finish above, um, Swindon above Swindon. Um, the surprise package, surprise package for the season, is that going to be Warsaw? Finish 16th last season. If we finish any higher than 12th, I think that would be somewhat of a surprise. You think? I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise. It should be a guaranteed. I mean, you look at our history. League One club. New we owners. Be new squad, we? pretty much. We should be pushing, all right? Just uh, having a glance at some of the other teams. Um, Sutton. I think everybody was surprised how well Sutton held up there. I think Sutton are going to be up there round about the top ten again. I top think, seven, no, perhaps. I reckon they might struggle. I might, might struggle. You think they'll struggle now? I think people have found them out a bit. Yeah, maybe. We might. How about Northampton? Liam Roberts, obviously, as you mentioned, gone to Middlesbrough. Yeah. But Horsfall, who was the uh, the centre back, they have got Ryan Haynes um, from Newport. That was a really good, really good signing for them. But I think New Northampton might be struggling a bit more, and uh, maybe won't make the playoffs, yeah. which might leave some gaps for some other teams. Maybe Warsaw. I think Northampton will finish like just short though. Just short. Yeah. If I we can finish. Eight, seven, if we can finish above Northampton, Mansfield. Newport, and Tranmere, I think we're going to be in the playoffs and Swindon. Yeah. If we finish above them. Mm -hmm. Right then, who's um, who's going to be the surprise strugglers? You think? Um, Salford. 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 The surprise strugglers. They had all that money, and um, I reckon Salford are going to be right down the bottom. I reckon you think, that'll be. Bad. You think they're on the fall? I think they'll yeah. fall I mean, well, I say battling. I think they'll be... Bottom half. 20th. I th yeah, I think they'll 20th. definitely be, like, Blimey, bottom half. But, well, that's, I think that's where they'll finish the season. How about Doncaster? I feel Doncaster would just go straight back up. Maybe. You think so? They've got Lee Tomlin. Oh, well, no. I He's no. not going to play more than a few games for him, I wouldn't have thought. No. I don't and know. Uh, George Doncaster's Miller. A, Doncaster's a tough one. They really struggled last season, yeah. majorly. I think it's sometimes a team that comes down and really struggle to turn things round. I mean, look at Walsall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are an example we, of we, that. We came down. We've been stuck down here for three years. Don't consider yeah. do the same. Crew. It's uh, another one, isn't it? Yeah, Crew could struggle. Courtney Baker Richardson from Newport's gone there. But um, yeah, I think I'd say the League One teams that have come down could very well struggle. Yeah. Could very well struggle. Right then, so Monday, we're at the Managers Forum, so we've got some questions for Mick Flynn. 
We're going to be putting those over. And then on Wednesday, we've got the squad analysis. So I'll be reviewing this season's squad with last. And then um, seeing where we think Warsaw will end up this season. And then Thursday, it's match preview and revealing a new sponsor. So uh, watch out for that. So it'll be Thursday, the match preview of Warsaw Hartlepool. We're back down to Smash Burgers as well. Yeah. So Smash Burgers, Great. come down on uh, next Saturday. Yeah. And uh, come and say hello. It'll be good to see you. Warsaw Fan TV, the joy and the pain. Thanks for watching. Cheers.